Hello everyone and welcome back to RPG World. Guys, as you know, uh, I started a playthrough for Zoria Age of Shattering and uh, I have already, I think, 10 hours in game. So we'll do a quick review for these 10 hours. Basically, keep in mind, it's a quick review. So I will do that two hours before the release. And uh, I want to... I want to help people to decide if the game is for them or not. This is not a full review. I will do another review when I will finish the game, when I will do a full playthrough for the game. This is just a quick review for the first 10 hours of, uh, of the game. Okay, so keep that in mind. Before you start, I want to talk to thanks to the developers and the publisher for the opportunity to 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 play uh, the game to do this review before the release yeah i want to thanks again to them but listen that don't mean i will do a good review because of that i'm not paid to say good words about the game uh, a lot of you already know me guys uh, i'm that kind of person that i don't care about that kind of stuff if i really like one game I will like it. If I don't enjoy one game, I don't play anymore. Okay. Another thing, the expectations, guys. Uh, I saw a lot of people compare this game with Baldur's Gate 3, with uh, Divinity, with uh, Pathfinder, uh, with uh, uh, Pillars of Eternity. Yes, me too. I compare this game with this the Zoria with these games. But that don't mean I have expectations from this game to be at the level of Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, the Baldur's Gate 3, for example, have uh, got more than 100 million uh, budget. Uh, Zoria, from what I know, uh, have a budget around uh, 200k. So, let's be serious. Okay, anything. Let's get started. What is Zoria? It's a CRPG. Yeah, I, another thing, I don't want to talk about uh, too much about the lore, guys. Basically, the lore is... Uh, it's, we, have, we have two main important factions, okay? The Elion and the Isirians. The Isirians are the bad guys. Uh, they, get, they are more, much more powerful than the other guys because they are a necromancer and they have... a some kind of help from an ancient civilization you will discover all these things alone i want to i don't want to spoil you and anyway i don't know everything about that because i didn't finish the game myself it's just basically basically zoria is that kind of games where uh, the more you play the better is you know so basically you 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 start the game when you arrive in the outpost. Keep that in mind. Here is the, the outpost. Uh, if you guys played the Pathfinder Kingmaker, you know that outpost management, etc. etc. This is some kind. Some kind. Uh, here is your uh, keep. By the way, this is the map. I love that. I love the map. Looks very, very good. But as well, I have a complaint about the map because you don't have, for example, you don't have a zoom. Keep that in mind. You cannot zoom the map. But let's start from the beginning. The character creation. Yes, the, the game have a character creation. Uh, but it's basic. Don't have huge expectations from character creation. For me, one, I don't care too much in this kind of games about character creation. I don't play this game for... Uh, the character creation, but some people really love that. Of course, in Baldur's Gate 3, for example, the character creation is amazing, looks beautiful. Don't expect that from Zoria. Have character creation, but is basic. The most important thing, keep in mind, when you create your character, when you create your character, guys, every character in game is important because the class that you start you see this? Conjuration. I have a wizard. 
The wizard can conjure a various physical illusions that can help the party advance in a dungeon. Every character... something like that. This guy, it's a kingsman. Have engineering. This trade will fix any mechanism that is otherwise broken, like levers, dwarven, door, locks, and others. So this this will help a lot of uh, at the uh, replayability about, uh, for the game. Yeah, because you will get one point in one dungeon where you cannot advance more if you don't have the specific character that can unlock the path in your party. Of course, you can come back to your keep to change your party at any point, any time. You can uh, you can change the the party composition. The only one that you cannot replace from your party is your main character. The other three, yeah, we have four. Yeah, the other three you can change any time during the gameplay. We have uh, four difficulties: easy, normal, hard, and unfair. Now I I started on normal, but uh, I think it was too easy, and I increased the difficulty now on hard. I think maybe later I will uh, try the unfair as well, if I feel it's too easy even on hard. Uh, okay, so anything else? What to tell you? More. Uh, the graphics. The graphics for me looks as well decent, good. I really love the the weapons and the the the, the armor design. It's pretty nice, decent. Not not wow. Yeah, that's why I tell you guys not have expectation for a triple A game. It's not a triple A game. The game is was was made by three persons. Yeah, three persons during few years, uh, and that person as well have family, jobs, etc., etc. So it was more like a hobby. Trust me, I bought and uh, much more expensive game and worse games like than this by the way the game cost 24.99 i think bucks on steam it, and for what have to offer honestly i think it's a decent price it's not cheap it's not expensive i think it's a fair price for what the game have to offer now the most important aspect in Zoria for me, one, it's uh, outpost outpost management. On the outpost here, this is the continent of Uran, right? Here's, this is the world map. Unfortunately, this is one of my complaints because I have complaints as well. I don't like everything in in Zoria. Uh, you cannot zoom that map. It only is this screen. You cannot do anything to be more details on this map. What I hear from the devs, they plan to do that in future. They just plan. It's not a confirmation. Let's hope will be. Because I really, really love to, to zoom the map to see more details. Even on the local map, you don't have zoom as well. You see here, you cannot do anything. It's very details, but you cannot see more things on the map. Okay, here, outpost upgrades. This this is what I love in, in Zoria. This outpost man management is, is very, very nice and complex, by the way. Uh, you have the keep, you have the inn, the borough, the blacksmith, alchemy and missions and here everyone every compartment you can upgrade you have rewards yeah you get new followers also this is what you cost you to to unlock the upgrade you can you need to add some companions here and it's a it's a required class for every single upgrade yeah you need to have a specific class already recruited to to do the research here you have two classes you need to have a battle cleric and a priest 
and you get a different rewards, look, resources, uh, more recipes for crafting. It's, it's, it's very nice. It's very nice. You'll discover yourself that, like I say, this is a, a, one of the most important aspects of, uh, of the game. Also, the characters management, the, the, the party management, the followers, it's very, very important and it's another forte point for, for the game. Look at that. You have a Kingsman, a Lancer, a Sentinel, a Wizard, a Necromancer, a Thief, a Ranger, a Battle Cleric, a Priest, and a Knight Warden. Every character, every character have a... Every, all of these classes have a different skill tree. Yeah? The skill tree I think the first impression looks simple, yeah, basic. Okay, it is, it is simple, it's basic, it's, it's nothing, wow, not very complicated, it's not Path of Exile, but with all these classes, you can create a lot of combination and you can have, the, the game have a lot of replayability. That's, that's a good thing for the game. First, because of that aspect in the dungeon when you get the blocked paths and you can unlock the path only with a specific class that you have in, in the party. Of course, like I said earlier, you can, you can come back to your keep and you can uh, change the party composition and you can go to unlock. But if you want to choose right way, yeah, with what you have now in the party on this playthrough on the next playthrough you can choose the left way with another party composition that's a good thing i think uh, for the game uh, the animations of the skill is very very nice i really really love that but on the other side i have complaints about the combat uh, the combat looks, again, basic and simple and sometimes annoying. For example, you engage in one combat with two mobs and uh, two more mobs coming from behind on the same combat. You know what, what I mean? I think normally they was designed to be all four in that combat. It's you know, it, it's bad, but good on the same time, that diversity, it, it, you know, I don't know. Me one, first time, I didn't enjoy that much to that aspect. But when, if, if you play more, you will see, uh, 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 it gives you some dynamics to, to the combat. You don't feel it's a... Uh, it's a turn-based combat anymore. The, the combat is very quick. You don't expect that uh, Baldur's Gate uh, combat where, where you can spend uh, one hour in one combat with that a lot of strategy, a lot of tactics, a lot of uh, to to have the ranger uh, on the way. Here you don't have that kind of things. It's, it's simple but efficient at the same time. And uh, it's more, you, you feel more it's a, it's a, uh, House combat, you know, like in uh, the first uh, uh, Pillars of Eternity. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, another thing that is, is, is very nice is the crafting. The crafting is very, very nice. Why? You have these materials. Okay. Let me... Wait a second. Let me go to the blacksmith to show you. Oh, here you can configure your party. Okay, here is the character that I already I have recruited and you can replace and add any of them at any point in the party, right? Anytime, you can do that. Let me take this uh, Garrick. Anytime you can, uh, you can replace. The inventory is, you have the same inventory for all of them yeah but you can select any character 
Another complaint that was on my first impression when I started the game was the loot and the inventory. I say, what the fuck is that, man? It's too much loot. Even for me, which I'm that kind of player that I'm a loot addicted. To loot everything, no loot left behind. Loot everything, collect everything, carry everything, uh, don't sell anything that's important, that you feel it's important. Harder, you know what I mean. Every RPG player know that. But it's not like that. It's not that bad. Be because you have all this option on inventory. Okay? You can sort and see only weapons, only armors, only trinkets, only consumables, only materials, only ingredients, uh, only items, only quest items. And and for example here i see all the weapons i selected this anya okay my ranger i can click here and i can see only the weapons that she can equip this is very 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 good it's it's a very good quality of life for any rpg players and also at the top here you have another sword and you can see if you want only swords, yeah, only axes, only spears, daggers, bows, etc. This is a very, very good uh, aspect of the game, and I love that. I really love that. Yeah, and about the ingredients, I will show you about the crafting. What is very nice. What else we have here? We have a storage box, yeah, where uh, you can or your your item you have a capacity in kilos yeah the carry weight but i don't think it's a problem look how many how many how many things i'm carrying right now and i still don't have problem with uh, the carry weight looks okay so it's a good game for uh, loot addicted players uh what else we have in the kit uh, here is a mission board, but as well you can use uh, the mission board from the author table. Here you can send your uh, companions that you have recruited already, but you didn't use in party. They can go on missions and con can come back with different rewards, different resources, uh, gold, uh, items, etc, etc. And on the same times, they will level up. So if you want to keep the other companions at the close level to your party, it's another very good thing for, uh, for the game. Because maybe at one point you want to have, let's say for example, one wizard in the party to unlock a magic pack in a dungeon. And uh, if you, the other characters, if your main characters are level 20, you don't want to have a level 2 wizard in a party. It will be ineffective, it have no sense. But if you're doing missions with them, he can be at the close level with your main party. So it will be very, very useful and easy to replace a companion with another one. Yeah, look, for example, these guys, they arrive from the mission and we can collect the rewards. Boom. Yeah, let's start another mission. Uh, you have a level uh, requirement, level requirement, the recommended level. So need to be level one plus. Let's do that. Uh, we'll get a chest, some resources and some gold. Uh, Let's send, uh, I don't know, this ranger and this sentinel guy. Yeah. Four minutes times, this is the requirement. They will cost you 100 gold and 26 supplies. Good. And they are on the mission now. Uh, by the way, the supply, you see, you have uh, this 407 supply. When you camp, I will show you the camp outside. Let, let's get outside. 
when you camp, you you need that supplies like like in Pathfinder and also I think in Baldur's Gate. Yeah, in Baldur's Gate you have uh, that supplies when you rest. Here is your outpost, your main outpost. Keep in mind, guys. Basically, the game start after you unlock the outpost. The game starts very, very slowly, very slowly. My opinion, guys. What I'm telling here is my opinion. I'm sure uh, some of you will agree, some of you disagree with what I'm saying. I will tell you my opinion. Everyone, take what they want from what I'm telling you. Uh, my opinion, the game starts slowly, very slowly, but when you advance in game, you unlock more and more things and starting to be uh, more engaging and better. It's that kind of game where uh, the more you play, the better it is. And I like that. I love that in, a, in a RPG games. Like I said, the, the game basically starts after you unlock the outpost. Keep that in mind. Uh, at every campfire, look, you can cook. You have a cooking. You unlock all these recipes, yeah? You can get from loot, quest rewards, etc, etc. Basically, every food gives you a buff. For example, this uh, rabbit stew gives you 3 stamina boost for 15 minutes. If you use this food when you camp, when you rest, uh, I will show you at the camp, you have the option to add some food and you will benefit from this buff. You need different ingredients. I don't know, I think these two will unlock later. I don't know what's about this. If you have the ingredients, just prepare and voila. You will get the supplies and uh, the buff if you use the food when you when you rest. Another thing in uh, is the same thing for uh, for the alchemy. Yeah, here is the alchemy. You have a different kind of potions. Remove five stats of poison. You need the alchemy kit and the glass vial. That's the most important and the ingredient to craft the potion. Very simple and effective. Crafting is one point that I love in this game. About the, the blacksmith, this is another aspect, very important and very, very, very nice. Uh, as well, you need to loot, get reward, the recite for, uh, for what you want to craft. But, and the nice thing here, on the ingredients, you see, for example, for this chest, you need metal, fabric, crystal, uh, a crafting kit, a fragment. I still have none of this. I don't know what will be. And still two more blocks ingredients. The good things on the fabric tab is very simple and efficient. And I love this inventory management. On the crystal tab, for example, you can add. It's your choice. If you add this crystal, you will get plus three strength to the final uh, product to this chest. If you add this this one, you will get four strength and four armor. This one uh, plus twenty five death resistance and plus two hit chance. Uh, Ten resistance to water. Uh, plus three agility. Plus five arcane. Uh, plus 5 natural resistance and plus 4 stamina. Different ingredients will add different bonuses and stats to, to the crafted item. And you can... This is a very, very good thing because you can craft a lot of different items with different uh, stats and resistances very useful it's a very good thing for an rpg for any rpg player you will love that you will love that for sure uh okay another thing in the camp that you have 
you can go anytime to that specific building that I show you before to the for example now we you will go in the inn you can do everything from the keep by the way in the inn but also you can come here manually to talk with different people to recruit uh, a different companions you have a vendors here as well yeah you have a merchant a vendor you can buy precise uh, food uh, ingredients you can sell every vendor buy uh, specific items not all the vendors buy everything keep that in mind as well and also here what i saw on the inn you you can recruit uh, companions any name any name guy is a possible companion yeah you are not forced to recruit them if you want you can recruit if not you... but you need them for that missions that you have uh, uh, on the mission board yeah here is the barrel every companion can get wounded on the mission and uh, he will be here in the barrel to heal after the mission let's get get out to show you the the camp Let me show you the camp uh, aspect of the game. When you enter in, the, in combat, by the way, you will get uh, some decay to your armor and some uh, debuffs as well. And that can be removed when you camp. You need to find a green spot here. Boom. and here in the camp you have cooking you can cook anything anytime uh, inventory I don't know why this because you can use anyway the inventory alchemy uh, and resting here depends how many hours you rest for example if you rest four hours you get two class plus resting bonuses depend what you have in the party you can, you can get a different bonus from different classes so from the wizard you regenerate uh, mana 15 percent boom i will add that from kingsman decrease the cost of supply used by 15 percent for the same number of rested hours that's good from uh, ranger remove bleed effects you can remove bleed, bleed effects anyway with uh, if you have uh, bandages or different potions as well and for uh, for the priest remove any curse i don't need now because i don't have any and also about the healing depends how much they rest you see if i rest only two hours they don't get a full hp I will get 4 hours, I will get a full HP. And also here you can add uh, the food, up to 3 foods, and you will get the bonuses from that specific food. I really like that. And consume 32 supplies. 2 supplies per hour per follower. A rest for 4 hours, a small loading screen, and voila, we get leave. Uh, okay, I don't know. I think I cover everything on a basic aspect. You know, this is a, I told you. It's a quick review. After I have almost ten hours in the game, I just completed the act one of the game. The game has five acts. Uh, so. From what I hear from the devs, we expect somewhere around 30, between 30 and 40 hours. Of course, if you rush, the main story will be much more quicker. Maybe you can finish the game in 15 hours. 
but it's not a game to to rush the main story to finish quickly. I don't think 90%, 95% from all the RPG players don't rush the main story. It's my opinion. I, I know how I am and my friends and I think most of you will be the same. You, you, you want to explore everything, to see almost everything, to loot almost everything, the most important, the loot. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, if you want to see more details, I started a playthrough on uh, on YouTube channel. We'll do, we'll do a full. I will do a full playthrough for Zoria. Yeah, with 100% playthrough. I will upload almost every day one episode. If you want to see the, the whole playthrough before you decide if you buy or not the game. So I will post a link in the description below with the full playthrough. Okay. Uh, one more thing. Let me show you one combat, guys. I will do that if you want to. If you are not sure if you want to buy or not the game, right? Uh, let's start with one combat. Let me show you a quick combat. Another thing that I don't like. You know, every time when you press stop, you hear that fucking sound. I think it's annoying. You press stop to highlight the objects around you. To highlight. Oh, and when you loot, you don't need manually to click every item. When you get close, press F and automatically loot everything. Okay? Oh, voila! We are in combat. Look, I, I really... Keep in mind, the NPCs always, they will focus... The, the, the AI is a little bit dumb. That's the truth. Dumb. Oh, okay, you can say it's uh, clever. They always focus to your wizard and to your uh, lowest... HP party member. Doesn't matter if you put the tank in front of him, they will ignore it completely. Of course, the tank have uh, some taunt kills. Ah, and look, another one joined. Another one joined. And one more thing, what the fuck is this? Giant wasp finger. Okay. Uh, let's deal with that combat, by the way. Where is that? Where is that shit? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, you have the third order here. Uh, and here you have the skills. You can see how many action point cost you, yeah? two action points, you have two action points here, and uh, this one is a basic attack for my ranger, cost one action point. Side attack is a thing in this game, and also lane of sight, keep in, keep in mind, is a thing as well. So for example, uh, if you have, if I have the wizard behind this guy, the, my tank, he cannot shoot this guy if you, if the tank is in front of him. So lane of sight is a thing. Okay, now it's my main, my wizard. I need to I need focus to unlock these skills. This is the base attack. Wow. Boom! Oh, one more? Are you kidding me? How, uh, where these shits are coming from? Uh, uh. Nice, we get a stun to this guy. Now it's my tank. We move close here and engage with this ship. Uh, 
and we need to deal with the author with oh oh we can see all the stats here yeah with I, I it, man the game is polish i cannot see i honestly i don't have a major complaints uh oh and you can use any time during the the fight any potion from your inventory i feel this is a little bit as a cheat yeah because you can drink five potions you know what i mean but oh, okay a lot of people will, will like that will enjoy that uh it's my ranger now i need to deal with this thing uh no you see no la lane of sight so i need to spend one point to move Man, I didn't stun this guy? That's weird. Look at that, the, the skill effects are amazing. I love it. I love the skill effects. Uh... Focus, we are okay. Let's deal with this shit. Oh, come on. I will be okay. Wow, seven two fish. Kill this shit. Six HP. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. This uh, frost blast is good because it reduce the initiative. We have a healer. Oh, two HP. Oh, this shit is still alive. Boom. Now we can loot everything. Oh, and look at that FX, you see? Uh, bleeding and poison. You can go on your inventory, select the characters, go to, go here, use one bandage, boom, bleeding is gone. Uh, and... Poison, boom, is gone. Yeah, simple, but on the same time efficient. Okay guys, this is it's a small quick review about the gameplay, about what we expect in uh, in the game. Yeah? Will be a more detailed uh, review at the end of uh, my playthrough of this area. Keep in mind the expectations don't expect to be a triple a game yeah it's a small indie game and i think in my opinion 
it's only my opinion it's a decent game it's not a it's not the best game that you played it's not the worst game that you played for the balance you know the balance between the price and what the game had to offer i think is more than okay it's above average it's above average if you ask me to give a note will be i don't know 7.5 8 something like that okay we have a full playthrough on youtube if you want to check the playthrough on youtube we really appreciate like subscribe if you enjoy the content comment below what you think about Zoria? What you think about me as well? <laughs> okay. Thank you guys. See you in game. I will start the, the, the playthrough as well on Twitch. And on YouTube of course. Hope you enjoy the content. See you next time. Bye.